Take him, take him on 
know the, to hear it. See what hear it got to say. So these priests be mad. Right. Eh, you won't do nothing. I'll take him to the next place. So they took him over to Herod. Herod looked at Jesus. <laughs> Y'all know what he said. Uh, nope. Not me. I'm not doing it. Now, they really mad. They, what you say? Big mad. Well, nobody do the name of Jesus. Let me tell you what they did last day. They traded Jesus. Jesus. All he did was came here, told the word, gave us something to look forward to, and died. But they traded him for a murderer. Yep, somebody who unalive people just because. <laughs> That's what they did. Now, somewhere around John 19, this was coming up to the end. You know that, that famous walk, where you at, uh, Mr. Darren? That, that famous walk Darren perfected way back in the day. Y'all should have seen it, he was awesome. They walked from prison up to the crucifixion. Now, this was the same walk Jesus took a couple of weeks ago in the same city on the same road when everybody praised him. Oh, Hosanna, hallelujah, the Savior, he's come here for us. They laid stuff down in front of him. They gave him flowers and blessed his name. Okay. <laughs> well, not today. Today, they're mocking him. They throwing things at him. They cursing his name. Because, you know, that's what the priest wanted them to do. So, on the cross, there were two people. Once he got up there, you know, because he didn't get on the, he went up there on the cross by himself. There was two people, one on each side. Y'all know how that is when y'all be in that situation where you really don't know what to do and that good and evil thing come up. Well, this is the actual picture of it. One side, there's a man hanging next to Jesus. You know, you can save us. <laughs> And you can say yourself, since you, you know, serve God. Well, that was the evil side. Let's go over here on the good side. You idiot. We guilty. We did everything that said we did. But Jesus, Jesus ain't did nothing. Jesus ain't did nothing to nobody. I don't understand. So, how you gonna hang an innocent man? How they did. Down in Matthew, this is where everything comes to a close. As far as the crucifixion is concerned. Jesus asked God with his last breath to forgive these idiots because they don't know what they do. They just don't get it. Well, <laughs> they about to. Let me show you something. That evening, when Jesus was taken down, something about people, something about this story people may not remember. A rich man asked Pilate off to the side because he didn't want this priest to know, can I, can I have his body? Because back in the day, that's what they did. They took their body and they had to make sure somebody had custody of the body. So he asked, he said, can I, can I have his body? I got somewhere I want to put it. He ain't, y'all ain't even got to worry about it. He had a brand new tomb. Back in the day, there was a place where families were buried. And they were rarely empty. This one was fresh. Nobody was in there. Well, Jesus was the first. So this man was placed in a tomb. Never ever been you before, freshly carved as you will. I'm a visual person, so I got it fresh. It's like the dust 
still settling from them carving out everybody. So they took him to this tomb. And these priests, you know, they still kind of feeling some kind of way because, you know, Jesus said he was going to die and then he was going to rise. He's going to get up. <laughs> these priests said, nope, not today. What we going to do is make sure ain't nobody coming out of that tomb. I want two guards. Pilate was like, I'm so sick of y'all. All right, fine. Get the guns. They, they can stand there. They can stand there. So all the weekends, Saturday, here it is Sunday morning, these guys still standing there. Let me tell you about Jesus. <laughs> I don't need that no more. Let me tell you how God do that. His angel came down out of heaven. And he said, okay, you're three days up. It's time to come out. Come on, Jesus. Yeah, I know you're sick of this place anyway. That's, that's my version. That's what I think he said. I know you're tired of this mess. Come on, let's go. So Jesus gets up. The stone is flicked out of the way. Because y'all know angels are not like us. What is heavy to us is a breeze to an angel. Or to the Son of God, anyway. What is forever for us is a breath for the Son of God. So these, this wonderful angel came down to get Jesus out of bed because that's exactly what he was just resting, y'all. He wasn't dead, he was just resting. These two guards standing here. <laughs> Hold on, I got a picture, I got a vision, I'm sorry. Bear with me. <laughs> these two guards standing here like, yep. My job is to just make sure this rock don't move. That's bigger than all of us. When this angel moved it out of the way, they freaked out so bad. The Bible says that they passed out. Y'all know how hard it is to make a, a muscle-bound man just pass out, just living but testosterone, just breathing it all over. Just imagine it, big, burly something. You know, just... So scared, he didn't pass clean out. That was funny to me. Well, they once they came to back to, they took off to tell somebody. You know, the priest back there that is called, they said, mad, because Jesus ain't gonna never get away. They went told, they went told that the priest, they were the first. But a lot of people said, Mary them. They were, they were there too, but they were the first to go tell it. Now this is the end of my side of the story. But I can guarantee you, this is not the end. According to the Bible, from the book of Matthew, all the way down through Acts, they tell all of these wonderful, wonderful stories about betrayal, anger, all that wonderful stuff about how they mistreated Jesus and the Lord. Let me tell y'all something. If y'all think the Bible is a horrible book, think again. That story alone is awesome. It is awesome. There's not a boring part to that story. None of those chapters. I think it's like five or six chapters. Don't quote me on it. I'm not a scholar or a theologian, I just know it's in it. So with that being said, grab your Bible. Check it out. It's all in there. Have it.